from the surgical oncology standpoint, uh, we treat patients with uh, peritoneal carcinomatosis from appendiceal mucinous neoplasms or appendiceal cancer, pseudomyxoma peritoneae, mesoteliomas of the abdomen, um, some type of mucinous tumors from the colon, gastric carcinomatosis in selected cases, uh, round cell tumors, and um, basically those are the main uh, tumors that are treated with HIPEC. We treat cancer of the pleura, which is the lining uh, of the inside of the ribs and the outside of the lungs. Um, and then that cancer is called mesothelioma. And also we treat uh, thymic malignancies, either thymoma or thymic carcinoma that has metastasized to the pleura. So as a um, gynecologic oncologist, the, the, the patients that we see most often for consultation for high pack treatment are patients with ovarian cancer, uh, specifically high grade serous ovarian cancer and other uh, forms of epithelial ovarian cancer. Um, patients are usually either in the um, upfront setting, meaning they just got their diagnosis or they come in with carcinomatosis and have um, in the first stage prior to any treatment, prior to any surgery. Or we see them after, you know, they've been getting some neoadjuvant chemotherapy, which is when patients get chemotherapy prior to surgery. So they get three cycles or four cycles of chemotherapy to reduce tumor burden. And then they get referred to us often um, for debulking uh, surgery and hyphen. Um, um, and then patients go back um, to their treating oncologists for the chemotherapy if that's how it happens. And then the other um, situation where we uh, we see patients um, for HIPEC is in the recurrent setting, um, as long as they meet very specific criteria um, that allow us to perform surgery in these patients. So there are certain criteria that patients have to, and their tumors have to meet for them to be good candidates for HIPEC um, from a medical point of view and from a surgical oncologic point of view.